Hey guys, it's Taylor from Kimpatsu Cosplay here. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to make an upright tail, like this one we made for our Spirit Blossom Ari cosplay. This tail is really cool and different. It's made with an EVA foam base with a fur cover that is completely detachable, so you can reuse it again and again for different costumes with different color covers. If you guys would like to see how we made the entire Spirit Blossom Ari costume that this tail is from, we have a set of tutorial books and patterns on our website. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you hit the bell button so that you guys get notified when we post new videos. And speaking of videos, let's get to this one! To make this kind of upright tail, you'll need to start by creating a base structure using 5mm EVA foam. This tail pattern is available on our website at kinpatsucosplay.com. Trace your pattern onto 5mm EVA foam. Make sure you include all your registration marks as you go. You can then cut out the pieces with a sharp crafting knife. The pattern we made is for half of the tail, so you'll need to mirror this and cut out the other half as well. To glue the pieces together, you can use contact adhesive. Apply the glue to each edge of the foam you will be joining. Then let the glue get tacky and press them together. Make sure you line up your registration marks when gluing the pieces together. This will give the tail its shape. Continue to glue together the pieces until you have both halves of your tail constructed. You can then apply glue to each half, then carefully line up the edges and press them together. Cut a hole in the circular base for your tail. This is where the metal frame will go through later. Glue this final piece into place. Now your foam tail base is complete. Next, you'll need to make a faux fur cover to go over your base. You can make this cover using your original pattern or you can make a new one like we did, which has fewer seams. Start by wrapping your foam tail in plastic wrap. Then take pieces of duct tape and lay them onto the tail. If your tail is symmetrical, you'll only need to cover one half for your pattern. Now draw on lines for your seams and registration marks. When you're happy with your pattern, you can remove it and cut out the pieces. To make our tail cover for Spirit Blossom Ari, we used a 35mm long turquoise faux fur. Trace your pattern onto the back of the fur. When cutting fur, avoid using scissors. Instead, you can use a craft knife. Using scissors can cut and damage the ends of the fibers. A craft knife will only cut through the fabric at the back and leave the fur intact. Just don't press too hard. Cut around your pieces, leaving one centimeter of seam allowance around the edges. Take a slicker brush and brush the fur inwards and away from the edges. This will prevent the fur from getting stuck in your seams when sewing. Now pin the pieces together, lining up your registration marks. Then you can stitch along the edges to join them. When you turn over your fur piece, you can brush over the seam to pull out any stuck fibers. Before you join the two halves of your cover, trim the excess at the tip of the tail to prevent it from getting too bulky at the end. You can then pin the pieces together with the fur facing inwards and sew around the edges to join them. Leave an opening at the bottom of your tail approximately 20 centimeters long. This will allow the cover enough space to slide on and off. Now you can turn your tail inside out again. Take your fur cover and slide it over your foam tail. If the cover is too tight and won't go over, you'll need to make the opening at the bottom larger. To close the opening you left, you'll need a strip of Velcro. Glue half of the Velcro inside one edge of the opening. The second piece of Velcro will need to be glued on top of the other side of the opening where the fur is. Trim away the fur where the Velcro needs to be placed. Then you can hot glue it into place. Now the bottom of the tail can be closed and the long fur fibers will hide the join. This cover can be removed at any time and you can reuse the foam base for many different color tails. To get the tail to attach to the harness, you'll also need to glue on two pieces of Velcro to the foam base. Ari's tail has stripe markings on it. To get this effect, you can paint it with an airbrush. Begin masking the stripes by cutting out pieces of paper and pinning them onto the tail. To paint the tail, we use our Iwata Revolution airbrush and Createx airbrush paints. Airbrush paints are thin and good for painting fur because they won't make it too stiff. Spray over the paper pieces with a dark blue paint to create shadows around the lines. 
Let the paint dry before you unpin the paper pieces and remove them. Whenever fur is painted, the fibers will harden. You will need to take a brush and comb through the fur to get it fluffy again. Once the lines are painted, you can airbrush around the base of the tail to darken it and create a gradient. Now your fur cover is complete. To create an upright tail harness, you'll need an aluminum flat bar, expanded PVC foam board, Chicago screws, fabric straps, and Velcro. The base of the harness will be made using 3mm PVC foam board. This is a lightweight, hard material that can be cut by hand. Draw out the shape of your harness approximately 10 by 15 centimeters and cut out two pieces. Use super glue to join the two pieces together and make the base thicker. You can then sand around the edges to make them smooth so they don't hurt you while wearing. For the frame of the harness, you will need an aluminum flat bar. This is a very lightweight metal that can be bent into shape by hand, but is strong enough to support the tail. Drill three holes into the aluminum bar, three centimeters apart. Make sure you use a drill bit rated for metal and check that the holes are big enough for your Chicago screws to fit through. You can then bend your bar at a 90 degree angle over one of the holes you drilled. Bend the rest of the bar into the shape of your tail. Use the bar to trace matching holes onto the bottom of your harness plate. Then you can drill holes through the PVC foam board. To attach the bar to the PVC board, you will need Chicago screws. Line up the holes for the bar and the board and screw them together. Next, you'll need to measure around your waist, then cut out a piece of strapping. You can sew small darts into the strap to make it curved. Hot glue a piece of Velcro to each end. Now you have a strap that will secure around your waist. Glue the center of this strap onto the top of your harness. To make the harness more comfortable, glue a piece of upholstery foam to the inside. Take the two matching pieces of Velcro you glued onto your foam base and glue them to the harness. Make sure they line up with your foam tail. Now your harness is complete. The harness will attach around your waist like this. You can then take your foam tail and slide it over the aluminum bar. Press together the Velcro tabs to secure it in place. Now you have a tail, and it's pretty sturdy and light too. But how do you wear this under your cosplay? You will need to make modifications to your costume so there is an opening at the back. Put the harness under your costume with the bar and Velcro through the opening. Then you can attach your fur tail over this and everything will look seamless. And that's how you make an upright tail and harness. Thank you guys so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to learn even more about making tails and ears, we're currently working on a book all about that, so keep an eye out. And if there's any other tutorial videos you want to see us make, let us know in the comments. Until next time guys, bye for now!